the color back there, boys. Nick here. So you saw that we just did the Hunger Games bow, you know, the wooden bow. So I decided, you know, like I said in the description, if you made it out of one inch pipe, you would get a much heavier bow. That said, today I figure I'm going to show you guys how to make it out of one inch pipe. I know I say that in a lot of my videos. You know, if you use a different size pipe, you'll get a different result. So today, what I'm going to be doing is making a bow to the exact same specifications because it's still long enough to where one inch pipe will work. Though, just to let you know that lengthwise, this is already starting to push one inch to its kind of safety limit. But this will work and it'll be a, a fairly heavyweight bow. So what you need is a Schedule 40 one inch pipe. And like the other bow, we're cutting it to 56 inches long. What you want to do is mark the center at 28 inches and then three inches on either side. And then you want to measure nine inches from both ends. And we're going to be using the same, you know, flattening jig and everything, except you're going to need one inch blocks on your flattening jig. So the first thing we're going to do is heat this up and flatten out the limbs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So I've got my heating trough here, which as I split, explained in the last video, is basically just for this one a piece of cardboard. I folded it to make a gutter and then I lined it with aluminum foil. This is just to help reflect heat back to the plastic and this will heat up a lot more efficiently. And then I've got my flattening board here so once this is heated up enough I'm going to transfer this over here and flatten it. So here we go. Now with one inch pipe especially, you want to really make sure that it's heated up enough, otherwise it definitely won't flatten properly. Not only is the wall of the pipe thicker, but there's more plastic than with the smaller pipes because of the increased diameter. So you know that the pipe's been flattened enough where if you can take your finger and with just finger pressure, push the pipe all the way down flat in multiple places. If you can't do that, then it's not hot enough. over here, put it on the flattening board, the flattening jig, the center line, First clamp, and then you want to put on the second clamp. Now with the second clamp, you're going to need to put a little bit of pressure first. So So now I'm just going to let it cool, and then once it's cool, I'm going to do this on the other limb, and we'll go from there. 